if I'm a congregant in his synagogue, um, whether I'm a young person and you know I'm, I'm interested in, in the Jewish tradition and I'm studying, what kind of a rabbi was he? You know, congregational rabbi, we have this kind of image, you know, warmth and, and, and you know, family person and helping the family in all kinds of issues and this and that. What, what would he have been like to, to me as a congregant? I wish I had a good answer to that question because I would love to know. Um, and what I can give you is just my sense of him as a person and how he may have approached his pastoral duties. Um, unfortunately, he was always regarded, if there were four rabbis in this period, there was the chief rabbi, Saul Levi Martera, then there was Isaac Abu Abda Fonseca, uh, David Pardo, and Manasseh ben Israel. And even though Manasseh was sometimes, was, was not always the last in rank, he was generally the least well paid and given the fewest uh, congregational duties. Um, he, he gave fewer sermons than the other rabbis and was probably less involved in the liturgical life of the community. He did some teaching, uh, but mainly at the elementary levels. It was only when Rabbi Abawab um, went to Brazil for a while to tend to the Jewish community there, which was mostly uh, people from Amsterdam. Then Manasseh was able to take over some of Abawab's uh, classes in the upper levels. But as far as I can tell, most of his teaching was limited to um, Torah and Hebrew instruction for younger ch for the children. Um, and he wasn't giving very many devars, as far as we know. Um, the other complicating factor is that Manasseh was often in trouble with the community. We know that on, on at least one occasion, he was given a harem or a, a ban um, because he resented the way his brother-in-law had been treated by the Parnassim or leaders of the community. And he lost his temper. And so they put him under harem for a period of time. And uh, that meant he couldn't really participate in the congregational life. We also know that there's a lot of sniping between him and Rabbi Mortera. Uh, and on several occasions, the leaders of the community had to issue warnings to these two rabbis to knock it off. Um, they disagreed, Mortera and Manasseh disagreed on, um, for example, on how best to uh, interpret uh, biblical and rabbinic texts. Um, they also disagreed on some central theological issues such as uh, free will or the immortality of the soul or the eternality of punishment. And at one point, both rabbis were threatened with a harem because they were from the bima attacking each other. So Manasseh was not really um, in ever, as far as I can tell, one of the leading rabbis of the community. At the same time, I get the sense that he was a charismatic figure and perhaps attracted a following among some of the more independent-minded members of the community. He did find financial support for his publishing house and for his works from particular uh, members of the leadership. But on the whole, I think the Parnassim were more frustrated by him than enamored. 